Hello everyone, Pancakes here with a game of Domination on the Rail. And this is a another nuke game. One of the uh one of the many I have saved up. And this was a pretty good game. It's some parts of it get pretty exciting, so I think you guys will enjoy it. Um but before I get started with the gameplay, I would like to first of all thank all of you guys, my subscribers and viewers, for the tremendous support that I've been given within this these past couple of weeks. Ever since CNAIRS gave me that shout out, I mean, things have just been going uphill since, and I would just like to say that I, um, I very much appreciate the support that you guys have given me, and... The reason I'm saying this now is because uh, just this morning I've reached 2,000 subscribers and once again I had never expected to be this far this soon and so I'd like to formally thank all of you who have supported me thus far and for those of you who are newer to my channel who have subscribed within the last week or so uh, welcome to my channel, <laughs> and I hope you enjoy the videos. And for those of you who might subscribe in the future, after I post this video, that extends to you guys as well. Um, welcome to the channel, and I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Um, and remember, that if you have any sort of questions or anything to uh, ask me, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to answer them. And if I don't answer your question, uh, please don't take it personally. I get a lot of questions, a lot, and it takes, you know, it's hard for me to answer every question. So if I don't answer your question or something, please understand it's not because I don't want to answer your question. Sometimes it's because I just, it's a little bit difficult for me to uh, answer everybody's questions. But I'll do the best I can. I'll do the best I can. Anyway, <coughs> derailed is a, a bit of a bit of a tricky map sometimes. It's a map where um, if you play smart you can usually do pretty well but it's also a map where a lot of people tend to camp in the uh, in the buildings. The two buildings where the uh, excuse the voice crack where the um, wow <laughs> I'm like a crack machine today. Let's see if I can try this again where the um, where the other team spawned and <clears throat> Uh, I, you will find oftentimes that people like to camp those two buildings with their sniper rifles and whatnot, and really you have to play it safe. I mean, one thing I like to do on this map is I like to use the trees and the bushes as good cover, and you'll see later that I use it a lot, and I'll point it out when when we get there. But that, that's a habit I tend to have on this map is I tend to. Um, Use the trees and stuff as cover, and um, use the bushes and things like that. And here I pull in the uh, pull in my chopper gunner to try to go for the nuke. Unfortunately, I get shot down before I can get enough kills. But rest assured, I will get the nuke eventually. <laughs> and so here I'm just uh, wreaking havoc, and boom, <laughs> it just goes down. And it was a little bit. A little bit disappointing, you know. I was hoping for the nuke there. Um, I said, "Well, I guess I have to get the kills on my own." I think somebody there called in the emergency airdrop. <clears throat> um, and there, I just kind of spray that guy down long range. Maybe I should have burst fired. I don't know. <laughs> At least I got him. No harm, no foul, you know? And so, yeah, that's basically what goes on. I, I really play safe because I think this was my second game of the day, and I wanted to go for that nuke. <laughs> so I, 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 once again, strapped on my try-hard pants and went for it. And for those of you who are saying, oh, why don't you ever go for the flags? Um, when I'm going for the nuke, you have to stay alive for 25 kills, right? And when you're jumping on flags, you are most likely going to get killed. And as you can see here, um, if, from this game, that I could much better suit my team by getting the nuke than I could by 
jumping on flags suicidally. And even when I'm not going for the nuke, what I tend to do is I like to... I mean, I shoot people who go for the objective. I shoot people who are on the objective. I rack up kill streak awards so I can call chopper gunners on them and harriers and just make their lives difficult. <laughs> and that's my role in this. I mean, anybody can hop on a flag, but I just feel like I would better suit the team, you know, doing what I'm best at, which is, in my opinion, getting kills. And so that's why I don't usually hop on flags, unless it's safe. But if I know the enemy's around, I don't want to go hop on a flag, because I'm not going to capture it. They're going to kill me. I know that. Um, it's just, really, you shouldn't capture a flag on your own unless you got people backing you up. And I usually go off on my own, so there's usually nobody backing me up. Um, so that's why I, so, a lot of the times, don't capture the flags. <clears throat> I know some of you guys will disagree with this, and uh, that's okay. <laughs> you guys are allowed to disagree. That's just that's just my take on things, and that's just my opinion. And as for the tutorial videos, you guys, a lot of you guys have expressed that you really are uh, quite interested in that. And um, so, yes, I will be doing it. Um, I've already begun planning exactly what I'm going to do, and I don't have a whole lot of time. Uh, coming soon but I'll try to get started on it. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off talking about like kill streak rewards then go into what I feel are uh, good class setups and how to make an effective class and then maybe after that I'll go into like specific game types and specific maps and things like that. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna make it like a series type thing. Um, because I do have a lot of things to say in terms of tips and stuff that really I wouldn't be able to fit in a single 10 minute video so it'll be a bit of a bit of a lengthy project but I think it'll be worth it to uh, help you guys improve so uh, I think it's safe to look forward to that and we got the other team basically pushed back mm. well I don't know if they were pushed back here but I know that there were people back here and so I was just kind of like that guy. Just trying to shoot people. And um, one thing really to uh, keep in mind is that if an enemy spots you, it's usually a very bad idea to peek out the same place that they spotted you at because they're expecting you there most of the time so the best thing to do is try to flank them or try to pop out from a different location because if you play right into their hands uh, chances are you're gonna get killed and so oftentimes the enemy sees me and they have the drop on me I don't try to engage them because nine times out of ten if they're a half decent player that will get you killed and here they just start like assaulting me I think they're spawning back here and <laughs> I'm just and this is what I talked about before, where I try to use the trees and bushes as cover. Um, I mean, they can still shoot through it, but the fact that they can't really see me helps me to sneak away here, as you can see. Because the action was getting a little too hot, and I knew I was pretty close to getting my chopper gunner, as you can see here. And I knew that probably there's a good chance that if I call that in, that I'd get the nuke. So I'm just kind of watching this area one more time to see if anybody's following me, and then kind of get behind this crate here and uh, try to get the nuke and yes I do get the nuke from this chopper gunner I was lucky enough that they didn't shoot it down which actually kind of surprised me because they seem to be uh, pretty effective in shooting down all the air support but I'm not complaining <laughs> I think I get like I get a lot of kills with this thing I pretty much tear their team up eh, well yeah they try to shoot at it but I'm surprised nobody fired a missile. So yep, the rest of the game basically consists of me shooting people <laughs> with the chopper gunner. And yeah, uh, once again, <clears throat> I'd like to extend my gratitude to all of you who have supported me and who have subscribed and who basically have been um, helping my channel grow. 
And for those of you who are watching this, if you like the videos, please subscribe. I'd love to make this channel be. Ex I'd love to allow this channel to be expanded to a larger audience. And if you guys could help me in that, I would really appreciate it. And you guys have done a great job so far. And um, you know, the more people who enjoy my videos, the merrier. And uh, I kind of chuckle <laughs> that the uh, host left game right when the newt got called in. But yeah, final score forty six to three. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.